will there be multiple types of tripods in the upcoming War of the Worlds game? This was a question asked in my last video on the upcoming survival horror game. If you haven't seen my other videos on this game, I recommend you go watch those after this video as they may answer some of the questions you might have. They'll be linked as cards and on the end screen. So after receiving a comment from Better Dust on my last video, we discussed the possibility of there being different types of tripods you could control. As in the movie and also in the gameplay footage, you see there are tripods with different equipment suggesting that there will be different tripods that could be hunting you. One of these tripods has the iconic heat rays. I'm assuming they're heat rays, so I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure they are, but they don't have the grabbers that capture humans, meaning these machines are intended purely just to cause destruction and kill. The other tripod I have seen in the games are of course the ones intended for harvesting. They lack the heat rays, but they do have the grabbers, so they can pick you up and throw you in the cages to be saved for later. The third tripod that we notice is actually not in the game as far as I can see, but it is in definitely in the movie, as shown in the scene where Robbie goes to watch the battle between the military and the invaders. You see three tripods rise over the hill and the one in the center has four spotlights instead of the usual three that all the other machines have. And it's also sporting both the heat rays and the grabbers for harvesting. This is just a quick little recording that I'm putting in in the middle of the edit because I recorded my audio for this earlier. Uh, I was just getting a screenshot of the comments so I could put it in the video and somebody called Some Molecule actually replied to our comment feed saying there are indeed variants. The standard variant has three total lights and heat rays but no harvesting equipment. Harvesters have three lights in total and have only harvesting equipment. The third type is actually called the Warrior. The Warrior has stronger heat rays and shields as well as a flatter head and five total lights. There could be more though. So the thing that the, I'm referring to in this bit is I call it the zap and grab because it's got the zappers and the grabbers but it's actually in fact called the warrior so thank you to some molecule for commenting that so for the rest of the video you all probably hear me call it the zap and grab because it was recorded earlier but it is in fact called the warrior so just bear that in mind now of course this might just be something that they did in the film for CG fun but there is definitely a possibility that you'll be able to see this machine appear in the game I'd love to see it as it means there's a, there'll be a more versatile machine than the others now, does this mean that the third more versatile tripod will definitely be making it into the game? No, but what it does mean, seem like will be happening is you'll be able to see a tripod off in the distance and if it's got the zappers then you'll know to stay well away from it and undetected because it will just kill you as soon as it sees you and you know, if you go into cover in that it might just blow the buildings apart and you'll be dead anyway. And if you see the one that has the grabbers then you know even if it sees you, you will have an opportunity to get into cover of a building and to avoid getting caught. Though that does mean you might have a visitor in the form of a probe going into your building followed by the aliens themselves coming down from their tripod. This does make me wonder though whether the tripods will be able to communicate to one another. Perhaps via the iconic horn sound to call over other tripods that could destroy the building that you're hiding in as some may not be equipped to deal with it once you're inside. I think that would be really cool as it shows the intelligence at work of the aliens as you know they are supposed to be pretty advanced and they probably should have accounted for this sort of thing happening in their invasion plans. However, if the developer does decide to include the machines that can both zap and grab, that would mean that if you see one, you know that it's extremely dangerous and you should avoid it at all costs, because not only has it got the ability to capture you, should you prove to be tricky or out of reach for the grab, it could just be like, screw this guy and zap you instead. But what do you think? Do you think the zap and grab tripod will make it into the game? And should it? Would it make the game too challenging? I think personally they should be added because, you know, they, it presents an extra threat and it makes the invaders even more terrifying. And the whole idea of this game is that it's an alien invasion where the aliens are way more advanced than us. So anything that should make the simple act of survival more difficult, I think it should be included. Now, to the matter of will it be added, that's just entirely down to the developer and if they have the time to add it and the reason or want to do it. I think he will add it even if it's after the game's launch just to add a bit more variety to the game. It wouldn't surprise me. I also wanted to quickly talk about multiplayer and what we know about it. So far what's been confirmed is there will be two multiplayer modes. Modes. The first is called Multiplayer Survival. This mode throws the players into the survival game mode to work together or against each other to survive the invasion. Players will be able to group together or they'll be able to kill each other and it's just, it's just the bog standard mode I think most people will be playing. The second mode is called Multiplayer Extermination. In this game mode players can choose to play as the humans or as the invaders in a PvP experience. While having the same gameplay as multiplayer survival, this game mode allows players to play as the invaders. Now what really excites me about this is that you'll be able to play as the aliens whilst hunting down real players that are playing as the survivors. This is going to be brilliant for content as well as replayability. 
I'm not entirely sure if both these modes will be available when the game gets released or if it will come later in an update for example, like I don't know if the game's going to come out as early access and will only have single player, I'm not sure what the plan is for that. Hopefully both the modes will be available as soon as it comes out. It definitely does seem though like, I mean it's been confirmed that both these modes will be making it into the game, it just depends on which point. But that will be interesting to see how the different tripods will work when you're playing as them. You might be able to swap back and forth between the killing machines and the harvesting machines. Or if, if they had the zap and grab version you might be potentially be able to use both forms of equipment. Only time will tell as we'll likely have to wait for more gameplay to be released of the multiplayer. Anyways, this is everything I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and if you could subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that way you never miss a new video. I also have a Discord server which is quite new. I've linked in the description if you want to go join there and you'll also find links so that you can follow the development of this game yourself. Don't forget, if you want to watch more content on this game then there'll be more videos that I have made on this game linked on the end cards in just a moment. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.